Now, in fact, it's not the T-shirt that I want you to look at. It's these shoes that I'm wearing. They represent the latest stage in the evolution of athletic footwear. Running shoes with a built-in brain. Because behind the heel here is a small compartment, and in that is a tiny circuit board with a built-in stopwatch. Now, if I press this black button here, it'll talk to me and give me a little bleep. And that means that the stopwatch has stopped and measured the time of my run. Now, on the bottom of the shoe here are some black bits, which are, in fact, pressure-sensitive pads, which count the number of times my foot hits the treadmill. So it's also obviously recorded just how far I've run. Well, uh, my run is over, thank goodness. But uh, the shoe's work has only just begun, because now I can introduce it to my computer. Now, first of all, I have to wake the shoe up and then plug it in to the computer. And very soon, we hope, it's ready to divulge all the sordid information from my run. Now, in fact, I haven't been going for very long, but uh, as soon as it's ready to talk to me, if it is, then uh, it should tell me what's been going on. In fact, I don't think it's going to do anything because it was hit by a camera just a few minutes ago, so it's now <laughs> right up the creek. But uh, in fact, what it would have shown me was the distance that I'd run, the time that I'd taken, and the number of calories that I'd managed to uh, expend during the course of my running. Now, if uh, I press another button here, we might just manage to get something else up, and that is the inventor's sample month of runs, because this actually did, in fact, show us all of his performance. It told you exactly how far he'd been running. In fact, he'd been running for something like uh, 315 miles, and he'd burnt up something like 38,000 calories. Well, these shoes, when they're fully working, are available in America, but at $200 a throw, they're clearly on only for the well-heeled.